if you love trading, if you love tinkering, if you have a platform that you can put some simple logic in it to test strategies, you're gonna love today's video. In today's video, I will teach you a simple volatility breakout strategy. This strategy is from a book by Larry Williams that is called Long-Term Secrets to Short-Term Trading. I will teach you how the strategy works and how we can add some twist in it so we can update it to match the current environment of the markets. So let's start. Welcome back traders. Thank you for joining me. Ali Casey here from Stadwaste's channel. As I mentioned, this strategy is from Larry's book. Larry Williams has written many books and of course he's a famous uh, trader, still trading till today. But really I like his books because they're all practical. They're like Perry Kaufman books where, you know, he gives you the strategy without, you know, a fluff and without some advanced theories of the markets and so on and so forth. Of course, when Larry Williams started, the markets were less noisy and more trendy, but today they are not. So most of the strategies don't work as well or probably they don't work at all in today's market. But with a simple twist, you can actually make them work even better than before. So let's jump in and see what this strategy is all about. Okay, so if we imagine that uh, this is the uh, bar from yesterday, and let's assume this is a green bar where this is the close, this is the high, and this is the open, and this is the low. So in this bar, uh, the high minus the low is the range. And Larry Williams' simple strategy calls about buying the breakout tomorrow or the breakdown, shorting the breakdown, uh, with taking one of these points and adding some measure of volatility. Now you can measure volatility in literally hundreds of ways. Uh, maybe you can take the average of the past 20 days. Maybe you take the high minus the low of the past week. Maybe you take some percentage of ATR. Literally, there are hundreds of ways to measure volatility, but Larry Williams is a simple guy which aligns very well with my way of thinking. So he took the simplest way to measure volatility, which is today's range. And basically what uh, this strategy is about is taking a percentage of today's range, adding it to today's open, close, high, low, whatever. And if the price hits it, then we go long. And if, if the price hits it on the on the downside, then we go short. So to illustrate it here, that means that uh, if this is today, then we will place our order tomorrow at a price. So for example, if we start from the close, so it will be the close plus yesterday's range. So this is for long and for short is the close minus yesterday's range. So if this is the range, then probably the, the level will be here and the level will be here to go short. So here, if the price breaks down, we go short. And here, if the price uh, break up, then we go long. That's it. Strategy, extremely simple. Let's see how we can implement that in SQX and uh, let's see the results. Uh, of this simple strategy. So this is the ES data for e, uh, for the CME session, which is 8.30 to 3 o'clock p.m. So this is a daily time frame. It's not intraday, and I will let you know why in a second. And then we're just trading one, no commission, no slippage. We're just testing the strategy. So the strategy is really works, and to go along, I'm just gonna put a Boolean here and say it's true all the time because the condition is to go long when the close of yesterday. So first we need to get rid of this enter at market. So let's delete this and let's add enter at a stop. So for breakouts, uh, you need a stop order. And for mere reversion, you need usually a limit order. Now, what do we need is we want to use the close plus the range. So we will use, so the close of today plus a multiplier, in this case one times the bar range of today. Now why I'm doing today, 
because in trade station i'm using trade station engine so the engine calculates at the close of the bar and if we go here so this is the range so this is today so at the close of this bar today we will decide what to do tomorrow because that's how trade station engine works it's at the close of each bar so at the close of today's bar we will take today's range add it to the close and subtract it from the close to get these levels to go long or go short so we are doing the long part so we are adding to it and let's just exit after 10 days so as i mentioned the signal is always true and the condition is this one this is the level that we will enter at so let me show you an exit that is uh, larry williams uses a lot which is first profitable close and we can do this by saying if the uh, if the pll uh, if the pnl in money is greater than zero then we will exit and then we don't need this condition and let's test it and look at this return to drawdown ratio 38 so when you see this <laughs> so when you see something like this a red flag should come up and you should uh, investigate to see how this happens so let's investigate okay so of course it looks awesome i mean this strategy what i call you can skate on <laughs> that's how smooth it is and uh, so 481 percent uh, profits because the es has a tendency to go long all the time if you just keep holding basically uh, especially in the last decade it will go up all the time you just need a good entry we can see that so this red line if you click you see the drawdown here if you click open percent so open percent means that this is the drawdown when while you're holding the position see all these other drawdowns this one this is when you close a trade so this one is when the trade is open and we can see that this is 40 percent and this one looks like let's see so roughly we are i don't know probably 90 80 90 percent drawdown this one so and that's why so yes the <laughs> this looks amazing drawdown is eight percent and compound annual growth is 18 percent and uh, you're holding only 12 bars so it looks amazing but you have to keep that in mind which is the open uh, drawdown okay so how do you limit this of course you need to limit it with a uh, either number of bars or a stop loss so well first this is profitable so let's exit number of bars that's easy let's put 10 okay that's more like it so 58 percent drawdown and now we can see we have only this one that's a big one that so we can see 17 10 12 9 7 all these losses are not acceptable so let's go with i don't know 2000 so 2000 that's 160 ticks and let's run and that's more like it so now we prevent the catastrophic stop loss of course we still have a stop loss uh, but that's good uh, i mean uh, this we can see yes it's a trade that happened and we can add on filter later on to see simple strategy it's amazing how simple things always makes money of course i've been saying this for a 170 videos now <laughs> on this channel people don't believe me but you know i keep bringing these examples from uh, like professional traders from hedge funds simple always makes money but people always want to trade five minutes and 15 minutes 
uh, fight everybody just to make uh, ten dollars look at this extremely simple you can make money anyways so the strategy still has some edge in it and of course larry uh, williams is a commodity trader so he trades futures only the es at the time wasn't even available he traded uh, all the other commodities long and short i'm sure short will not work on the es but let's try it so here are the results close minus the bar range and we're exiting 10 bars stop loss 160 also we're exiting after the first profitable bar and this is the short trade it's not the best uh, but you know we make money uh let's see the average trade is 67 which is which covers the uh the es okay so uh the short part works a little bit on the es i mean we can work with that and now let's tinker some more so we can add a little bit of twist to the strategy so now i added the open price which is once we enter the trade this will be saved here in this variable and we will add to that the same bar range with a multiple so we're looking once we enter here we're looking to capture this amount of range as a profit just a tad better but now that we have this information we can actually make this as a variable so if you come here to the variables let's add two variables we will call this the uh, entry multiple and currently it's one then we can come here and say instead of one i will choose the entry and here instead of one i will choose the profit target but now if i save this strategy and go to optimizer and load the strategy so once we load the strategy we can see that we have the entry multiple and the profit target multiple so we can optimize these let's start from 0 0.5 0 0.25 And let's look at this profile. So that tells us that this is the entry multiple and this is the profit target multiple. And it looks like between zero and one, it's the best choice. So after one for entry multiple, the profit goes down. Now, this is not necessarily a function of a war strategy. But remember, if you increase the multiple, that means you will have less trades. And that will mean, of course, you will have less profits. And actually, we can test this if we do the number of trades. And that's our test. So we can see that the lower uh, multiple for entry, we get less trades. So if we want to judge this, then we should judge it by something else. For example the compound annual uh, growth which is again but maybe return to drawdown ratio so and here we can see that yes so the peak is at one and 0.5 is less and one and a half is less so this is 0 0.5 0 0.75 and one so maybe we go with the 0.75 it's better than going with one although it makes Less money, but it's not the peak. Okay, so we can see this is uh, unlimited, really. Uh, if you add, uh, if you want to optimize entry, exit, and stop loss, and profit targets. But also, we have the option to add a filter. I mean, I can get rid of the profit target just to reduce my uh, degrees of freedom. And also, I can get rid of the multiple, and I just fix it at one, fix the stop loss, and then i can see what filters can add to my strategy so let's try that so let me switch off the profit target and now we're coming back here fixed and let's come back here and say this is one so no profit target right now and this is the base so maybe we add rsi
Whoa! <laughs> okay, so this was a fluke because I didn't test this before. So this actually brings up a really good point. You see, when you keep adding blocks that you build or even filters, the strength of a data mining software comes to play. So for example, this RSI block, I think I built it two weeks ago where I did a video. It's, it's counting how many consecutive bars above or below a certain level. And I just added it by mistake. I was actually adding the normal RSI and it enhances the strategy by a lot. And, and if we, if we want to compare, so this is the strategy is of course is doing well. 8.21 return to drawdown ratio with 43% drawdown and 600 trades. And when I add the block, which is consecutive RSI up for three bars and so 600 trades, eight to one, 43 drawdown. So I only took about a hundred trades. So drawdown went down 50%. That's huge. Now, of course I can keep playing with this. As I said, this video is, you're going to love it. If you like to tinker, if you like to add simple logic, but really all we are doing is really simple, extremely simple breakout taking the range of yesterday, adding it to the close, and that's it. And then now you can play adding filters, adding profit target, adding stop loss. But you see what I did? You cannot just keep adding stuff because then you're adding degrees of freedom, which reduces the robustness of the strategy. So when I started to adding filters, then I have to get rid of some of the degrees of freedom. In this case, it was the profit target and the... Uh, multiplier of the range so when i fix those that means that's it i don't have any optimization there i cannot play with it it's i'm just adding the simple today's range and now when i i can add multiple multiple filters you can think of rsi adx stochastic patterns candlesticks patterns uh you, if you downloaded my candlestick pattern i'll put a link uh, over there <laughs> Uh, you can then use those candle patterns to filter. Uh, so maybe after a doji, if you, this happens, then you will get a better return. Or maybe after an engulfing candle. That's what data mining software for, is to keep trying, automate the whole process, and basically make money. So if you are new to this channel, <laughs> this channel is all about algorithmic trading, but also with building portfolios. Basically, we want to make money in any shape, form uh, uh, in the financial market. We want to make money, but in a robust way, not just, you know, uh, estimating or looking at a chart. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos. And for everybody else, smash the like button, kick it, destroy it. So Google Algos can push this video to other traders. As always, I'm open to any questions regarding the financial markets, trading, portfolios, anything on your mind. Just please comment down below. Uh, and also you can comment just <laughs> good things without any questions. Also, of course, you can shoot me an email or comment in the Discord channel. Of course, all these strategies that I built today, they will be available in, this, in the Discord channel in the free download section. As always, good luck with your trading. Good luck with your investing. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.